For Kosovo, I do uh, work with several promoters and organizers there. Um, it's um, on the level of, of organization and, and infrastructure, it's still um, quite primitive in, in, in Kosovo. There's a lot of clubs coming up and disappearing again. But there's really uh, now, uh, let's say, five to ten people that are really trying to uh, build something structurally to do more concerts in, in Pristina and especially Brisbane. Uh, our, uh, your, 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 your big friend here that can help you with all the, all the issues. Uh, Nebosha is also doing uh, a lot of shows in those two cities. Um, and uh, in, in the, the thing with, with, of course, with Kosovo is, is that looking at it from like the, the, the infrastructure of the highway, um, I would personally advise to go into Kosovo from Macedonia. And uh, because uh, Serbia doesn't recognize Kosovo's independence, this is a political issue, but uh, when you're wanting to cross the border, um, this, these issues are real. Um, it's possible to go in from Serbia. I did it also, but I would you advise... Can, you can come back. Exactly, because there is the stamp in your passport thing. So I would advise to go via Macedonia, because Macedonia does recognize Kosovo, so there is an official border. Um, but these are things... I mean, you can, but you need to organize your route to go from Serbia to Kosovo and from Kosovo to Macedonia. Yeah, all the way back, because exactly. Because they will stop you on the border and send you... But that, that, that is again one of the things in preparation of a tour. The routing of, of your, of your uh, travel is a very vital thing if you want to organize a larger project in this region. Um, the biggest tour I've done, we played in all the cities mentioned, um, was with a band called The Homesick a couple of years ago. They also played at Men Festival. And we, um, we also included Sofia uh, in Bulgaria after that. And then from Bulgaria, we drove to, um, uh, to Pristina in Kosovo. Um, Google Maps and the distances <laughs> that they mention on, the, on Google Maps, um, they uh, start from the premises that the roads are great and that there is no bullshit at the border. Um, don't trust this. Always add a couple of hours to your, uh, to your daily driving. Um, it's definitely possible to go to all the capitals in, 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 in a day. Um, but uh, if you want to cross uh, several borders in one day, it's going to take more time, usually, especially if you're driving with full backline and a lot of equipment in the back, I would say. Um, yeah, continuing, the, finally, on, 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 on Kosovo, I think I, I'm, I'm a big fan because it's um, what I like so much about this larger region is the, is the, 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 the differences, the specifics in culture, in, in, in street life, in, uh, in, in, and also in concert. So, uh, Kosovo has a very specific flavor that you don't find uh, or is different than in, uh, in the other countries. Um, of course, they have their own language. But there is a, definitely a big audience. If something is happening, that everybody comes because they don't get a lot of concerts. Now, uh, they have, in the recent years, they have, because Dua Lipa has become such a huge international star, they are trying to build a bit more infrastructure. But for small scale bands, this doesn't really make the difference at the moment. And there is also a lot of corruption when it comes to all this government funding and, um, and, and building building infrastructure. It's, it's difficult there. Uh, sorry, if I can... Uh, it's very important uh, to uh, know that in Serbia you'll need uh, cash, not cards. If you want to pay a driveway or a highway or whatever it's called, you can't always do it with a card, so you need a cash, uh, which is not... Uh, I think in, in but you can pay in it's euros. different, uh, but you can't pay in euros. But you'll need cash, and uh, many people which are from Western Europe doesn't carry cash with them, so they have cards, and then can be problem for some small stuff. Yeah, I, I would de I would definitely advise to bring, for instance, a certain amount of money in euros that you can change in each country, and then change back if you leave the country uh, at the border. So there is different words for change, exchange offices, but they are usually everywhere where, where if you look around. Um, I thought that was a question. Yeah, sorry, I can add about the border, sorry. Yeah. Uh, if you come to Serbia, later, uh, later. You, you, you'll need uh, that call on paper with stamp from your uh, promoter. Because sometimes uh, if you have all papers at borders and you don't have that, piece of shitty paper, they can send you away also. Yeah, I mean, th that's the thing. Okay. Uh, about the money in Croatia, I would suggest just to withdraw.
withdraw money in the cash machine, not the ATM, the ATM just the regular cash machine, because you don't have problem with uh, exchanging into Kuma and that. Yeah, okay. But uh, in Croatia, at least it's yeah, so something to send with your own and uh, on the road with bank cards or something. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, the, the, the second question. I have a question for all of you. It's like, in, as you mentioned, um, that not everywhere is um, backline is provided. Is it like possible that you would get um, better, I mean, that you would get more cash if you would provide your own backline for all the shows? Is it like but it can uh, be in some situations. <laughs> Not always. Yeah. It's all about negotiation, actually, because uh, clubs has mainly their own backline, but they don't want to give it to you, you know, because they don't know you. If they are dealing with you for the first time, they don't know if you're, I know, some band that will smash his guitar on monitor or whatever, you know. So it's all about ne negotiation. I uh, saw that uh, we don't do that, but uh, some our colleagues do. If you are dealing with their backline, you have to sign that if you make some uh, damage. some damage, that that you'll pay for it. But negotiation, <coughs> and that's it. Um, in Macedonia, when you have a regular show, um, it is a big expense because if you're dealing with an independent promoter, they usually rent the venue, they rent PA and renting a backline. It's like the situation, it's already kind of bad, to be honest. And like instead of like paying 100 euros for that, they will give you those money. So yeah. it's brief. And it's also your sound, you know, your sound or your equipment. So it's better for Macedonia at least. But if you play like a bigger festival or a showcase, then the basic backline is uh, provided. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, anybody else in between? Because uh, this is really this is this is a panel to ask questions about these things. Uh, it's about l learning some Maybe pointers. Just, just to mention mobile data is not working outside of Slovenia and Croatia. Or I mean, it's too expensive. That's true. I, I open a lot of people reliable on uh, Google Maps. So I open my have like the offline maps or GPS GPS devices. On the, on the tour with the band, I opened uh, my Gmail to get the um, to get the document from the concert, and that cost literally something like 15 euros when I got home. So yeah, you don't have your uh, European Union or um, I mean, in the past it was common to get different SIM cards for every country. I also did that, but that's a big hassle um, because you have the different numbers you don't have. So um, it's. It, don't don't use a lot of internet in Serbia or in Macedonia because it will cost you. Well, uh, Bosnia, Macedonia also. Yes, so same. Montenegro. Yeah. Everything outside is okay, yeah. Croatia. Yeah. No, that's Croatia? Yeah, Croatia. Croatia is okay. Croatia? Yeah, Croatia, yes, because it's yeah, part because of the EU. They, they have the regulation in Slovenia as well, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, my question is simple. Uh, is there any um, tour bus company, I mean, Nightliner company? Um, well, yes, yeah, I know there are several. Uh, I worked with some of them. Uh, for instance, the, the, the one of the colleagues here at, working at Ment, uh, Sara, who does this uh, shows in Zagreb, uh, Zivstaf Zur. And she she has a they have their own van from the band, and you can rent that, and she will also join you. Uh, and again, it's a, a girl driver, so that has a lot of. Uh, Good things about the nightliner, like a bigger one. I, 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 I'm sure you can rent out those, but uh, this yes. is something. There is no, there is no company, company for nightliners. Yeah. So there, there is this Austria. There is yeah. one in Austria. Austria. That's new. One. <laughs> I, I, speaking, speaking for the Netherlands, I, I can say also that if you want to rent, uh, some of the renting companies uh, don't allow you to go uh, uh, deep into the Balkans with your van. So I mean, you can lie about that. But if shit happens and if you fuck up the car, then um, you, you're gonna have a problem. So it's again preparation. When it comes to Macedonia, we have one backline company <coughs> which is not like legalized, I would say. So you pay in cash, and that's the only guy that we can get equipment from. 
uh, but when it comes to renting uh, vans, if you want to go on tour, it's definitely cheaper option to rent it from the Balkans, like uh, in Macedonia, to rent a van, for example, it can cost like to 50 euros per day, which is nothing if you can compare it to the other country. So, but we don't have a nightliner company, yeah. No, I missed that part about the nightliner, but um, do you have to bring it into this region um, from somewhere else? Uh, anybody else, or um, otherwise we, we continue uh, because there is, we've discussed many things already: the money, the paperwork, the infrastructure. Um, the reason that um, like if you get off the beaten path of the highway, it's a bit more difficult. Um, what I want to add, like if you're planning on touring this larger region in, in southeastern Europe um, and outside of the countries that are present here now, that we edit. Um, Cities like Thessaloniki or Sofia or Bucharest are all possible to add, but like I said, um, the distances um, on the map in reality can be uh, a lot worse. For instance, driving from Sofia to Bucharest, I did it once um, with yeah, the X from again. the Netherlands, um, and it was um, the local legend of Vasco from Bernays Propaganda driving. And I learned, I think, enough curses in Macedonian for the rest of my life during that trip. Um, because it's also a big hell to get into some cities. I mean, for instance, if you drive into Belgrade, the, the, there's a big highway that goes straight into town. So it's it's actually yeah. it's doable, I would say, to get to get somewhere quickly. But if there's a traffic jam, then you could also stand outside of the city for uh, an hour. And, and the traffic jam is every day. Every day, yeah. Yeah, but also consider that you can get stuck on the border too with hours. Yeah. That's also a tip. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, for sure. And I mean, I, 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 I'm go early as this. possible. Yeah. I, 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 I learn a lot of things also myself. But I mean, even some things are not mentioned. For I, I did also concerts with with small organizations in cities like Supotica on the border. Or I mean, there is a lot of things happening. But you you build a network um, of of organizers of people that are involved in live music and you slowly grow that network and everybody that's here has this network yeah partnership is very important but what what is also very important uh, it's modern to have uh, many vegans and uh, vegetarians now it's very important to say that you can't bring apples from serbia to croatia i, I thought you were going to go yeah. Yeah. i thought you were going to yeah. go somewhere no, no, else no, oranges yeah, yes bananas also. yes but you can't bring uh, literally uh, from Two, two months ago, they said no apples from Serbia in the European Union, so no apples. <laughs> apple rakia. Apple rakia is fine. Yeah. Everything cures with rakia, people, as we said before. No worries. Nobody uh, gonna die. Um, yeah, I, I thought you were going uh, in a different direction when you said said, said vegan. Um, this is a thing if you are a band that has uh, uh, vegans in it, and of course that happens a lot. You have to mention it several times, often. Um, yeah, because in Serbia they ask you why I, <laughs> you have a vegan. So because in Macedonia they don't understand the it. vegan word. What's that? I mean, uh, uh, do you have something vegetarian? And they give you a sandwich with ham. Yeah. So chicken, 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 or chicken. Or chicken. chicken is often considered not to be meat. <laughs> like or beer, fish. Like beer is not really considered like alcohol. Yeah. So yeah, that that's definitely a thing to to to, to look that, about. That's that's not the case just in Macedonia. Yes. Wow. Well, okay. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I but I don't think it's very. It's not very bad anywhere. Like there is a lot of vegan places coming. Yeah. It, I mean, it's growing, of it's, course. It's, it's not uh, like they're gonna starve ten days on the. No, no. And, and honestly, <laughs> I think actually yeah. the produce here and fruits are very good and natural. But that's yeah. The problem is with. with what what I wanted to say that it's one of the main perks of touring in this region is that the food and drinks are so incredibly nice and more tasty and yeah. there's more flavor than with all the greenhouse shit that we eat in the Netherlands, for instance. Um, it's a lot better. You can have fantastic dinners uh, when you're on tour. Um. Yeah, I, I would actually uh, like to add that actually, I would say many promoters in the region, basically they know that maybe they cannot offer that much money and the like fixed fee, but they will maybe try to compensate it with a good hospitality. So you know that you can, for foreign bands, you cannot really compete with a fee with some other country that maybe we can you can do exceptional hospitality so the band will have a great time and just will want to come back just 
they will be ready to lower the fee for the experience. I would say. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, uh, it was also mentioned like for unknown bands to perform in this region, um, it's it's you you will not make money from from touring if you this is your first time here and uh, you don't really have like a community that supports you. Um, you need either some touring support. I mean, we have the system in the Netherlands that exists in, in many countries in Europe. Uh, or you just take into account that you will have a great experience in traveling in this larger region and you will try to make some more money, for instance, in Germany, Austria, or uh, wherever, on the way. Because this is not... Um, what the distances you have to drive on a day are often uh, quite large. So you will not even usually be able to pay for everything that you spend on the tour, but you will have a great experience and mm -hmm. make new friends and fans. Oh, a lot of friends. Oh, yeah. yeah, especially during the summer with the experience, the coast and the food and everything. So that really is uh, a big factor. Too. Yeah, I mean, there is an amazing diversity in landscape and uh, and culture. So um, it's it, it definitely recommended. I uh, saw. And that. there's another good point here because we are like. Uh, we don't have much money to spend. A lot of big names are not touring this uh, area. So it's a good opportunity for some middle-sized or smaller bands to grow their popularity and stay big bands in the region on the long term. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And and, and what i like to add and... Uh, yeah, I mean, I think like, I would say the national are kind of the typical uh, example. I, I remember the first tour they, they played Zagreb in like 100, 200 capacity and they played in Isola in a 50 capacity venue actually and the next time they came it was already I, I don't know maybe thousand already and then yeah they're the big name now yeah yeah no for sure um I think something to to remember there I mean there's also we are all here now in Ljubljana Ljubljana is a great starting point if if you if you think about touring um for instance I, I always think about circles you, you can grow your circle every year a little bit and if you touch Ljubljana for one of your first attempts in this region there's a lot of venues here, there is opportunities here, the money is a bit better in, in guarantees than um, in the other countries and um, there's quite a lot of audience in, in Ljubljana I mean tonight the festival is happening in Metelkova, all the different venues there if you work with a good local promoter it, this can be a very good start for your uh, uh, further uh, adventures on the brotherhood and unity highway mm -hmm. uh, by the way this highway is i mean it's known by the people here to have that name because it was built in the uh, socialist uh, federation of yugoslavia officially it's not called that anymore but um, uh, so um, don't start looking for signs that have this name it's just uh, the common name because it was the national motto of Yugoslavia, Brotherhood and Unity. Basically, we have to find the name for the panel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anybody else with questions? Don't be afraid. Uh, I mean, I'm also making this up as we go because uh, there is a, a lot of input and a lot of things to think about. Um, Monica has a, uh, has a sheet. She has a question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of like representing Lucia here. She does bookings, I do promotions. So basically, I'm really in an ungrateful position. So yeah, I'm, I mean, if you, if you have any questions about yeah, uh, promotion or whatever, even booking, I mean, we can connect you directly to Lucia. She does the XU market. She's based in Melbourne right now, but she, it's a serial booking she does throughout the whole region. She collaborated with, with Con and a lot of, a lot of projects too. And she's the one who actually set up the whole presentation previously. So if there are any questions regards um, uh, touring in the region, we can always give her a call or something. Uh, in, in general, a lot of contact that you have, uh, if you know the people, goes through Facebook chat. I mean, it's a fact. And not everybody likes it because it's, of course, it can be annoying, but it can be the quickest way to get an answer from someone. Yeah. And uh, as uh, as Monica said, uh, Lucia is also her company. Serial is actually specialized also in helping bands go into uh, this region for the first time. Uh, um, and she is a, a great help for me also over the years uh, um, in finding last minute shows. If you're two weeks before the tour and you have problems, that's really uh, things can be improvised here. I mean, I that that, that is something like I said that. Uh, um, even if it's uh, a, a few uh, few weeks before your tour, you can still get something done and get a good place to stay and some food during your tour, which is the most mm -hmm. vital, of course. Can I 
Uh, we didn't mention that uh, all of these countries are very connected, even though, like, I don't know how many millions in total we have in the Balkan region, but uh, we're all very connected and we all know each other. So in case, like, I don't know, you write to Miran for a show and you don't know anyone in Serbia or whatever, he would recommend you somebody because we are all in some way kind of connected. So, yeah, yeah. that's just kind of like a... Pretty much everybody yeah. that does something in yeah. the Balkans is also here now. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. maybe maybe the market itself is not so competitive as it yeah. in the Western countries, I would say, and we are not, we are more eager to share contact contacts. Yeah. It's not that you are keeping it for yourself, but you're like, oh, maybe sometimes it's to re get rid of it, <laughs> <laughs> contact these people. Yeah. But no, in general, it, like people are quite willing to to share uh, and connect the. I mean, like I said before in the presentation, basically, if you come with a band, a specific genre, I can tell you, like, these are three people that you should try, and if it works, right. it will work, and if not, you can just spend time sending emails that will, won't work. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, the, the power of unity here, I mean, everybody's willing to help, so these places are also really cool to build up. The problem yeah, with unity, yeah, it oh, seems no, like go it was not idea. such a bad concept after all. <laughs> Only the highway to Greece, it's called <coughs> friendship. <laughs> we just need new people. Um, yeah, that, no, that may, may, maybe the thing is also that the scale we are talking about, mainly like the smaller size, the smaller mm -hmm. size of bands, or the middle size of bands, like, so many people are like, uh, the promoters are more enthusiasts than the businessmen. So it's, for many, it's like also kind of half hobby or something. So it's not that I would say it's not a, a survival thing, maybe. So there, that's what that that can be a reason why they're more willing to to, to share. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, definitely. Um, anybody else? No. Um, yeah, I just, just mentioned the, the 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 highway between Greece. I mean, is that still uh, sometimes difficult to cross the border between Macedonia and Greece? I I know from the past. Then when Macedonia me. won with basketball, <laughs> then uh, the border was cut. <laughs> um, I did a Greek tour with my band uh, a year or two years ago. Uh, to be honest, I didn't feel any difficulties. Uh, the, the, the tour was amazing. We, we were hosted very well. The shows were amazing. Um, and we also managed to, to cover the expenses. I don't know, like in my experience, I never had any bad like situations at the border or any band. I just said, you, ju you just have to be polite and just sure. yeah, be honest at the, at the border. But I don't think they ever did problem to a band specifically. No, I mean, uh, I, I would say when I first started booking shows and traveling myself, the borders were a bit more uh, uh, unorganized, like uh, maybe 15 years ago. Um, nowadays, it's all... Um, a bit more um, structured, I would say, and there's less um, local corruption and less bullshit. I, yeah, it's. It, I mean, it, the thing is also with this paperwork. Uh, um, every time I tell this to a band, they they come back and no, but we spoke to this and this band, and they were on tour, and they never had any problems. But you need to prepare this. You need yeah. to do your homework if you want to tour mm -hmm. in this region. It's really important. Yeah, the tips are good, but you still don't know what kind of a experience you're gonna gonna ha gonna get. So, um, a thing that I wanted to address uh, because we had a short presentation about Bosnia. Um, Bosnia is um, the highway um, that this panel is about. Well, it doesn't go to <laughs> Bosnia. Yeah. It, there's no country. It, it, um, it touches Bosnia almost at, at, at some point because it, it, it goes uh, uh, very close. Um, touring in Bosnia um, can be a fantastic experience, I think, um, but you will have to prepare for the fact that there is almost no highways and that um, traffic can be really shitty mm. to get to places. Um, so it's, it's great to include it in a larger uh, uh, tour, but um, it it's, it's, can be difficult. It's a risk a bit, I would say. Yeah. 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 And there is there is there is promoters there is there is shows happening and and Sarajevo is an amazing city to visit um, with the band also but um, to get there um, you would have to usually you drive in from Croatia at least I, I usually do that um, because driving in from Serbia you're crossing the mountains and it will take even longer um, so 
because that's a thing, of course, uh, the highway is going around the mountains, connecting the, uh, um, the, the different capitals. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, just Bosnia. I mean, obviously, there's not money, so you would actually get like a ticket price for it. Then for a gig, it's one and a half euros each, so, so that's quite expensive for the locals. Which means that you won't earn money, but then again, uh, I mean, the whole region is an amazing place to tour. And with, uh, uh, definitely with, with uh, Bosnia, it's kind of like what um, we also mentioned, talking to people through Facebook and contacting them. It's the kind of like the inception thing when you kind of like find a place and then you find a different recommended place. And all that. So there's a lot of also cover bands, a lot of places that actually book cover bands. So don't strain away into a venue where you're kind of like an alternative band and then you're going to get cut off in the middle of your show because people are not used to watching bands or not cover bands and they're who you out of the, of the show, yeah. So anyways, an interesting, <laughs> an interesting country. Yeah, I mean, but in general, yeah. In Bosnia you have Banja Luka and yeah. Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina and that's it, actually. Yeah. Most of them. Most of them, yeah. yeah. That's it. But, but uh, like I said, when when you uh, uh, when you're traveling there, um, getting in and out of the country, there is only limited options if you want to get to the next country because the roads can be shit. And um, yeah, you need to have good routing. Yeah, routing is very uh, uh, is key when you're traveling the region. Bosnia and Montenegro are specific. 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 If you go there, yeah, there is. I, I think um, if there is. Any more questions uh, from the audience? We can also, of course, we, we don't bite, so you can always ask uh, some I of our do. specialists. Okay, yeah. just turn it off. <laughs> Watch out, <laughs> don't come too close. First, <laughs> throw some peanuts, and then if she's smiling, then. Um, no, uh, yeah, so uh, hit us up. Uh, um, we are in, we're here all for the whole day, and tomorrow probably even. Um, thank you for your attendance and uh, for paying attention. I hope we got some good pointers in. Tips. Yeah, sorry. I mean, I'm just like, <laughs> like um, yeah, well, maybe just add also in the end, basically, just we also mentioned preparation. But preparation also means that don't definitely get discouraged. I mean, maybe the promoter will not help in terms of like promoting because a lot of venues either don't have a PR person or a system or are overbooked or whatever. But it's also up to you to kind of like do your own prep work. We're all on social media, we have to be on social media, so kind of like also do, do that in terms of um, refresh them all the time, evaluate what was good or bad last time. Just like uh, if, if there's no media that will support, at least you can do something for yourself. Have everything ready, have a great press kit ready, have a great like a link set with everything so you can react fast if there's, for example, a last minute thing that you're trying to push. So things like that, it's like preparation and, and definitely there's lots on your side in that sense in terms of promotion that you can even help push a show and have a great, great gig and build the basis for the, the next one, hopefully. Yeah. And talk to us. Perfect. Um, yeah, again, thank you everybody for being here. Thanks guys for your uh, presentations and all your uh, vital info about um, touring the highway. And uh, I wish everybody uh, a great night tonight at night. See some cool bands. I can personally recommend to see, to see the Dutch bands on tonight. <laughs> <laughs>